Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Dan from Athens Christian Reformed Church here again to share some devotions with you this morning from Seeking God's Face. Today is the 10th day of Easter, and our invita invitation for this week comes from 1 Corinthians 15 verse 57, and I would invite you to just, um, if you're able, stop what you're doing, uh, just take a deep breath, and relax, and listen to God's invitation today. Thanks be to God. He gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. He gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Our Bible song comes from Psalm 74, verses 1 to 2 and 9 to 12. O oh God, why have you rejected us forever? Why does your anger smolder against the sheep of your pasture? Remember the people you purchased long ago, the tribe of your inheritance whom you redeemed, Mount Zion, where you dwelt. We are given no signs from God. No prophets are left. And none of us knows how long this will be. How long will the enemy mock you, God? Will the foe revile your name forever? Why do you hold back your hand, your right hand? Take it from the folds of your garment and destroy them. But God is my king. From long ago, he brings salvation on the earth. Our Bible reading today comes from Revelation chapter 1, verses 4 to 8. John, to the seven churches in the province of Asia, grace and peace to you from him who is and who was and who is to come, and from the seven spirits before his throne, and from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead, and the ruler of all the kings of the earth. To him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood, and has made us to be a kingdom and priests to serve his God and Father, to him be glory and power forever and ever. Amen. Look, he is coming with the clouds, and every eye will see him, even those who pierced him, and all peoples on earth will mourn because of him. So shall it be. Amen. I am the Alpha and the Omega, says the Lord God, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. I don't know what stands out for you in the reading today. But for me, I, I feel like the psalm um, where it talks about it talks about the enemies of God and how long things will go on. We are given no signs from God, no prophets are left, and none of us knows how long this will be. I think that for many of us, this could uh, very well apply to today, to what we are going through at this time. But also, so too, our reading from Revelation is very applicable as well. To him who loves us and who has freed us from her sins by his blood 
and made us to be a kingdom of uh, be a kingdom and priests to serve his God and Father. We are the priests, you and I, and the prophets and the kings. We are the ones to bring the good news of Jesus' salvation, regardless of the circumstances that we find ourselves in. For God is coming again. Jesus is coming again. And every eye will see him. Let's pray. Jesus, glorious Savior, I see you resurrected, unable to be held in the grip of the grave, immortal and yet still so vibrantly human. You are the Son of God, Lord of the living and dead, head of the church, and you have completed all your work to bring home to the Father. Revive me, revive us in grace. Strengthen us in the good fight and assure us of our resurrection. To you be the glory forever and ever. Amen. Now receive God's blessing today. Blessing are those who have not seen and yet have believed. Amen. Have a wonderful day today. Be blessed.